So I decided to join, or enter, Zoe Mariner's art YouTube contest. Or YouTube art contest. Yeah. So this contest was, um, an OC contest, I guess? So she had four of her female OCs uh, corresponding with a season. You could choose from the one of those four or all of those four, depending on how much work you wanted to do. So I chose her character Loki and Autumn. So I worked for like three hours on this and I recorded the process on an app a time lapse app, but of course it didn't want to. It didn't want to save, so I lost all that footage. Oh well. So, as you can see, I used lots and lots and lots of different materials materials for this, ranging from colored colored pencils, paint markers, to Prismacolor. Oh wait, Copic. I'll show you all the Copics I used. Starting with R20 blush, which I used in her skin and part of the trees. And this little star. I also used D29 Ultram Ultra Ultramarine for the dark part in her eye. Which I then shaded with or blended with BG45, Nile Blue. Doesn't want to focus. And then I also used R21 Sardonyx for parts in the trees and the leaves. And I think a little bit in the her face and her lips. And I used also R46 Strong Red for some leaves and her the red part of her necklace or choker. And I used YR68 orange for the leaves and YO8 Acid Yellow for the leaves again. And finally, I used E79 Cashew for uh, parts in the road and the tree trunks. So, what I used to ink this, which I wish I had the video to show you, but I don't, I used a Pro Art 0.2 millimeter pen. Show what that looks like. It's a solid nip. I used it for the outline in her hair. And for. No, wait, that's it. I also used a Faber Castell brush pen for the fence. The net of. Uh, Light, light post, whatever it's called. My mind's blinking right now. And some outline. Uh, wait. My signature. Um, I think that's it. Then I used. If I can find it. I don't know where I went. Oh, it's on the floor. Hold on. Okay. And then I used a Faber Castell brown brush pen. For her eyelashes, or makeup, I guess, and her eyebrows. And then, from lack of supply, I used a Sharpie Extra Fine Point for lining in her shirt, and her face, and her ear. Oh, I don't think I mentioned this Copic. E00 white, uh, skin white for her face. Sorry about that. 
Anyway, I also used these, they have many colors, I won't show all of them, but these Prismacolor 0 0.05 pens, which I'll show you how thin that is. I don't think I used black, I think I used a brown color. Focus. Sorry about that weird close-up thing. Oh well. And, and the colors, like I said, I already used a bunch of Copics, as seen. But I also used this Faber Castell yellow brush pen. It's more of a yellow green, but for this her shirt color, which the camera is making it look pretty green. Oh well. And I also use this skin tone brush pen, her shadows in her face, and this part of her um, undershirt, I should say. I'm not sure. Strap, there. Uh, I also used a lot of colored pencils, and I'll show most of them if I can find all of them. Uh, most of them are Prismacolor, some of them were Blick Studio, and a few, I have, a, I used a, also a few watercolor Faber, no, yeah, Faber-Castell watercolor uh, colored pencils. That's most of them that I used. Also these. And last but not least, I think this is the last thing I used. Uh, last three things. A red jelly roll for leave detail. A, what is this called? Recollections Signature Special White Paints Pen, which I use for in hair. Eye highlights and in the stone and leaf highlight and my white jelly roll which I use for our, her eyes highlights on her skin which you can't really see and highlights in her hair okay I think that's it uh, for materials at least so I really try to make her look cold or at least blushy i guess from the cold because you know autumn it's cold and windy leaves are falling the trees are kind of dying so yeah i mean it was an attempt to make her do that the camera is giving her much justice because in the picture her skin is not much of a different color from her hair it's skin -ier, I guess. Oh well. Um, her hair took a pretty long time. I used a mix of Poppy Red, Prismacolor, Unknown Red Color. I don't know what that's called because I shaved it down too much. And the other thing is on the floor. Hold on. And, let's see, Canary Yellow Prismacolor. Her hair really reminds me of Ariel's hair, just from the color and, like, the swoosh. Yeah. So I tried to do a swoosh like Ariel's, but not as swooshy, if that makes sense. I guess I'll... Give you an over look. You can see how waxy those pencils I used were. Because the, the piece is all shiny. I really hope I got her colors right. I didn't have a reference to look at because I was using my phone. 
for recording, but that turned out to be a lost cause. So, I don't know, I had a kind of crisis while coloring, just kind of thinking, wait, was, were her eyes green or blue? So yeah, like I said, hopefully I got the colors right. And I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Give you a little overview. There's my little signature. Okay.